Hi guys. Uh, I thought I might go over this morning just how to create this real little nifty double exposure technique that you do see quite a bit in um, television and film advertising and um, <coughs> other places in the graphic design world. So let's go over this and break this down. So obviously you're going to need a, a central image that we will create our double exposure with and a background image. So uh, this is the setup. I'm just sort of planning that my, my young man might sit in there somewhat like so. Now, I might just duplicate this bottom layer for the moment. So, easiest way to duplicate layer is having the layer selected and Command J. That will duplicate that layer. <clears throat> so, I'll just turn him off for now. So, of course, we're going to need to cut this, um, this young man out of the scene. So, I'm going to be doing that with my quick selection tool and I'm just going to make my sort of selection from this young man something like so and we're going to use the refine edge technique to just try to establish a slightly better sort of mask and I'm going to jump into the select and mask so we've done quite a bit of work or a few tutorials regarding masks and the uh, refine edge technique so I won't go over it too deeply in this lesson but essentially we're going to be using the uh, refine edge brush which is a super fabulous tool that we can sort of pick out parts of an image to um, you know get a better sort of edge if you like and so I'm just going to run my brush over the back of this subject's hair and the tool really is designed for this kind of work I'm not going to painting in the middle I'm really just focusing on those areas which might present uh, significant problems in with any other tool so basically just the hair of the subject it's probably all I need to do fantastic um, and you can play with some of these settings but as I say I'm gonna leave them because it looks pretty good at this stage so I'm just going to come down and what I need to do is I need to output this selection to a layer mask and that is what I will do and I'm going to say okay and there we have we have our young man masked out nice and clean okay now important to note that I have the selection and I have the mask I have the selection and I have the mask what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my mask going to hold my option key down I'm going to click and drag to the layer beneath of it and when you do that that mask is copied to the, the layer beneath of it which is really cool and if we hide the top layer you'll see that we get the mask has been applied to the background image which is exactly what we want that means that this top layered mask and as we know with masks with your brush tool and I've got a nice soft brush and of relatively low opacity here I'm going to sort of take some of this image away remember that you're on the mask not the image you're on the mask so I might just turn that back layer on as well and now I can start to remove parts of this background layer so I'm getting that sort of effect that I'm sort of after I'm getting softening that mask just bringing back to get this sort of nice double exposure look and that's the key to the thing so as you can see this mask is now updating and I'm sort of starting to get that sort of look that I'm after so there's my sort of double exposure going on beautifully you know you can move that background layer around if you like I think I might just leave it there so that's kind of good um, I might just put a new layer perhaps a brand new layer I might just wedge that in behind there because what I want to do is I just want to apply just a little bit of ghosting in behind there we go just a little bit in there perhaps just to make him pop a little bit more you know that's something that you could uh, consider as well just a little bit of that that's sort of okay yeah okay that, that's not too bad so there essentially is my double exposure um, that's sort of the look or essentially the um, the idea that you're copying the mask to the layer beneath it by holding option 
and dragging so that will apply the mask to the layer beneath of it. Um, that's essentially it. I think with a good double exposure I will often put an adjustment layer on top as well. Maybe I might desaturate it just a little bit over the top of everything. I'll just desaturate that just a smidgen just to sort of make it feel a little bit colder and that just sort of helps to unify uh, images in the scene there so that is our double exposure technique um, and that is uh, how we roll guys and look I hope that's been of some use to you guys double exposure technique quite easy to do Really great little technique, and I hope you find this useful. Okay, guys, I'll see you around.